What's up you guys? It is Father's Day and I am having my kids come over just to throw a couple little things on the grill and hang out and chill with them. So we're going to be doing some corn on the cob. I already sliced um, the watermelon last night with the watermelon slicer, which I will show you guys in a second. If you don't have one, you can get one. It is a game changer. It's a new way of cutting your watermelon without using a knife. I prepared the deviled eggs last night. We're gonna do brats and hot dogs. And this is the watermelon slicer. I've showed this a few times. If you're wondering where I got it, I purchased it a couple years ago from Meyer, of course. And I'm gonna be making some cupcakes for the kiddos. The strawberry lemon cupcakes were a hit, so we're gonna do that again. Making the cupcakes before I go to church. I'm also invited over to my friend's house. Shout out to Jean. So, had a busy day today. But I wanna give you guys a little bit of advice on this Sunday morning. Do not normalize people playing in your face. And what I mean by that is, stop allowing people to be comfortable with keeping it real don't get me wrong, we need people in our life to hold us accountable. We need people in our lives to tell us when we're doing something that we shouldn't be doing. But those people should be telling you that in love. And the only time you should feel the sting is only if you know that you're wrong and you need correcting. Because being corrected doesn't always feel good. And sometimes people use real as a segue to get off things that they ordinarily wouldn't be able to get off on any other day. All you got to do is think about how someone is delivering something to you and then think about you giving that same energy back to them. How would that make them feel? How would you feel saying it to them the way that they're saying it to you? The reason why I'm mentioning this is because the day before yesterday, there was this guy on the front end. He showed up to be very respectful. He um, was able to assist my friend with an issue with her car and all was well with the world. So again, on the front end, he seemed very respectful. On the back end, to me, things took a turn for the worse. Again, for me. So I don't feel like he was being complimentary, but he led with, I'm just going to keep it real. And then he proceeds to tell me what he thought he wanted to do with me. And I in kind told him, wow, you were being real and rude and disrespectful. He then follows it up with a lot of people can't handle my realness. A lot of people can't handle me keeping it 100. And that's a fair statement because there's a lot of people in this world that can't handle people's honesty, realness, whatever. Because sometimes people blur the lines with being real and honest with disrespectful and rude. Now, don't get me wrong. What he said was nothing I haven't heard before. But the problem was he didn't know me to feel comfortable to be saying everything he thought he should say using the I'm just keeping it real. No, you're being rude. And that whole I'm just keeping it real. It's not a flex for me. Because, again, I'm very clear with someone being real and honest and correcting in love versus you're being mean entitled and the list can go on but you want to use the words i'm keeping it real that's just how i am and you very well may be real and people may you know gravitate towards that you know disrespectful tone and just being uncouth people may genuinely like that about someone i don't but all that to say just be cognizant of people who are always quick to be real with you but don't really have the appetite to give what they're putting out. I should mention his accountability and his apology was, I apologize for keeping it 100. Ew. Yeah, that's another thing to look out for when they apologize like that. I apologize for keeping it 100. That only comes after you've corrected them and their words didn't have that sick land they thought they were going to have with it. It was an epic fail, so the defense is, I'm, my apologies for keeping it real. Like, I'm sorry, you can handle my realness. Exactly. So I'm about to start on the strawberry cake. And these are all simple 
cake mixes and things you can buy from the store I do add a couple little extra things in it to make it my own which I will keep off the camera but anyways this is what I'm about to do and I also want to give you guys an idea again this is nothing new under the sun but it's helpful if you want to know what you can get the kiddos to drink without spend a lot of money on juices and pops and things like that for them to waste so i'm gonna show you this before i finish everything with the um, cupcakes so these are jolly rancher drink mix so this is what i bought and i dumped about half of it in the um, water and so they'll all have their own little water bottle real talk i'm not a big fan of those kind of things because i think they're super sweet which is why i only put half in um, their water bottles but the funny part is when they go in here to get something to drink, they're really going to think they got something. It's going to be hot today, so they don't need all that sugar anyways. By the way, don't forget to shop Marilary for your jewelry. Um, this Penland bracelet is so nice. It is sold out, but it will be um, in stock soon. Um, but anyways, don't forget to um, check it out. If you decide to purchase something, use my code Ray Nicole. It will get you 90% off of your purchase. I know we're in the summer months and we're not thinking about the holidays, but we kind of should think about the holidays because that'll be one less gift you have to get for your loved one.